and you see my hands here. Yeah. So my hands are a fair low, stopping from get getting onto my legs. My head is currently above his. So as I'm entering, I place my head on him. I have to have my hands low to threaten underhooks as he shoots in uh, for for my legs. So if he tried diving in to a leg now, my hands would go under his armpits and I would get to jump on some passes there. So I think in a moment he will underhook my left leg so that right hand will switch the cup in the heel to go in underneath that leg. A bicep on the front of his on the front of your um sort of ankle. Yeah, yeah. So he'll switch that and he'll bury his forearm. Okay. What he's trying to do there is to invert to his right um and look to bring his right leg out and hook my thigh. He will then throw this left leg between my legs, trying to catch my far leg for 50-50 entry. Okay. And this is where my right hand is preventing that inversion. We've got Lloyd's left leg in HQ. This is there. You've again stepped into this position. He are deep behind the knee. Yeah. And where's your pressure going right now? I'm trying to kind of float over the top of him a little bit, yes. So I'm gonna I'm compressing the leg. And I do this sometimes to try and get them a kick away from me. So one of my favourite passes is a smash pass. So if Lloyd my plan here was to get Lloyd extending with his left leg. And then as he did that, I'd sprawl through my right hip to my left. So yeah. So if I step into HQ and Lloyd wants to turn to his left, he'll have to plant his foot to turn in. That leg is now being used, so the benefit of stepping into HQ and, and going to knee slices off of it is quite often you bypass his right knee shield. You keep that heel tight to his butt, he will not be able to win for, uh, uh, for K-guard entries to his right. And it will, you pushing down on the lever here will lift his knee more in this uh, direction. To give you the the hip there, yeah. And it's just to staple the leg. Yeah. So um, it stops him from turning back into me. This one. Okay. So here, a pause. Arm wrap comes in. He commits weight forward instead, but because that leg is so shallow, I'm able to switch immediately from um, my half guard to a, a butterfly. One thing you don't want to be doing is holding on to somebody's head in butterfly guard. Yeah. Fair. So half guard's fine, butterfly absolutely not. So I've got two hooks extending his hips back away from his arm. And he tried so he tried to throw that left knee in to my hip. The oh. reason why I was able to block that was because of my shallow grapevine and my right arm being very low to that knee. So I was able now, so you can just see, so my knee is outside. There's your knee. Yeah. Um, uh, this armbar does not work if Lloyd keeps his head above the line of his hand. 